Okay, so black lights are uh, extremely low wavelengths of infrared um, waves. And so it brings out different things um, in what you can see when it hits other substances. So what we have here is tonic water that you can buy from the store. What's cool about tonic water is that's a special ingredient that what, when it put in front of a black light, it glows blue. Now, if we had just a thing of water or something, um, it will not glow blue like that. Okay, here's, here's water. This is distilled water. Yeah, that looks purple because the light's purple. But what's cool about tonic water is it's got a special ingredient that causes that that causes that to glow blue. Okay. So what's what's even cooler is you guys have heard of a Mentos fountain, right? Yeah. We're gonna do a Mentos fountain-like reaction with a black light, and this is kind of a cool one. You could do this totally from home for Halloween as well. Get a black light, some tonic water. What we're gonna do, and this is. Can we turn the water off? This is pretty interesting. Yeah, we love the light off. I'm just letting it get set up. Um, okay. This is, if I let go of this pin right now, we could have this tonic water hitting the roof because you guys know how Mentos fountain works. Yes. Yes. So we're going to try to keep that in here. But we're going to put it in a fish tank so we can do this inside. Um, and we're, we want to see the, the black lights make this thing low. Because I don't want to Okay. All right. So this is our glowing tonic water geyser. It's pretty, pretty fun. All right, ready? Um, it's on the side. So as soon as I pull this string, it's going to start going. And I want you to see how it fluoresces once that chemical uh, gets exposed to that UV light that's in that tonic water. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to pull out the mentum. Here we go. Nice. Very cool. See that? That's a fun one. Very awesome. So as you think about this, here's my big question. Was this a chemical reaction? Yeah. Those people who are saying yes are incorrect. This is not a chemical reaction. In fact, it's not even a phase change. It's not a, it's a, it's a completely physical reaction. Because do we still have tonic water? Yes. We still have Mentos, and we still have a release of the CO2 gas that was stored uh, um, inside the water. So basically, all those Mentos did was uh, make a place for the gas to bind together to get a big gas bubble, and then the gas bubble said, i got to get out of here. I'm, I'm more dense than the water around me, and it's sprouted out the top. We still have the CO2 gas. We still have the tonic water. We still have the Mentos. No chemical reaction, even though it really looks like it. Pretty interesting. Bud, you are multi-talented. Even slower, lower wavelengths. So we're going to combine uh, the coolness of a black light with tonic water. The reason tonic water works so well is A, it has carbonation. The carbonation is like CO2 bubbles trapped inside this water ready to come out Okay, um, when they uh, touch the Mentos. The Mentos um, just have tiny little holes on them called nucleation sites, and they attract all that CO2. And when all, once all that CO2 is attracted to the middle, it says, i got to get out of here, and wants to squirt out to the top. So my first question for you is, is this a, 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 phase, a phase change with a physical reaction, or is this a chemical reaction when we drop Mentos in uh, soda? Let's take a vote. Who thinks this is a physical reaction? Who thinks this... Okay, who thinks this is a chemical reaction? About half and half. Uh, uh, the first bunch was correct. This is a physical reaction. Do we have any new there are, substance? There's no questions about this one on your packet because we added this. Nice. So. Yeah. So can we cross out? Can we cross out the baking soda bubbles? Yes, that's fine. Um, so this is a physical reaction. The reason why is we still have CO2, we still have tonic water, we still have Mentos. No new substances are being created here. Okay. But what's cool about tonic water is that when you hold it up to a black light, it fluoresces blue. If someone wants to turn off the lights real quick. Thank you, Ms. Ryan. Um, uh, it has a special chemical in there. Um, I don't know how you pronounce it. I've been pronouncing it uh, quin quinine. Uh, but uh, that chemical inside here um, 
when it hits UV light, the UV light excites that chemical, and when it comes back down to its relaxed energy state, much like a glow stick did, it releases that blue light as a byproduct of returning to its normal state. So we get this blue glow, and what's cool is if we contain this uh, Mentos geyser inside this tube, we should see a pretty cool uh, blue glow um, underneath um, a big Mentos spout. So it's so kind of cool. interesting as you set that up is uh, as I was reading that they started putting that in tonic water because they thought that it helped with um, control malaria in places like Africa, and so now it's it's at a much smaller smaller um, dosage, but but you'll only find that in tonic water, uh, which is interesting. Is it drinkable? Yeah, tonic sure it is. Does anybody? Um, so a cool thing you can maybe do, like next time you're on a party or if you have access to any black lights, is take tonic water. It doesn't taste great alone. It's basically carbonated water. Um, sort of, yeah, it's pretty nasty. Um, but if you, took, um, if you took that and made ice out of them, just filled your ice tray up, although I know so, so many of you have freezers that make their, have their own ice maker, but so you'd have to go old school and get ice trays. Um, and then take a drink like Sprite or 7-Up and, and put some black light to it. You'd have some glow-in-the-dark ice cubes. So that might impress someone. Um, and I, it wouldn't taste bad enough to over, override the taste of your Sprite or 7-Up. All right. All right. Um, can I get a volunteer who is uh, accurate enough to pull the trigger here and let these Mentos go? Um, Half of them close. Katie, come on. I think do this or was your hand up? Yeah, I'm going to kind of come around and gather your cups. If you guys have one, then you can get that ready. Okay. Uh, so, hey, Kami, when we go, I want you to pull hard enough to get that pin out of there and quick, kind of like this. So but I don't want you to pull the whole house down because it might spray out the side of it. So don't don't pull slow either. Don't pull slow and might drag across it. So just just kind of pull quick about like this. Practice. Practice. Um yeah. Nice. Okay, so let's get the lights down. Go ahead and pull it out. Go ahead. Nice, perfect. And we'll see this glowing tonic water. That's pretty fun. Thank you.